بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن والاه وبعد السلام عليكم brothers and sisters uh, today is the 29th of Rajab 1432 um, and we are on the threshold of a, a, a great time of the year Alhamdulillah as you all know Ramadan is just around the corner basically it's a month away um, and I don't want to talk too much about Ramadan today I want to talk about this month that's in between the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when asked about by uh, Usama ibn Zayd radiallahu anhu about the month of Sha'ban he had observed that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to fast a lot in this month so he asked him you know you, I've not seen you fast in any other month as much as this month and what's the reason for that and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that between Rajab and Ramadan this, this is a month in which people are often heedless um, so you know they think Ramadan is coming along so it's like a lull uh, for them and the Prophet Sallallahu said that in this month um, people's actions are raised to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and I would like my actions to be raised to Allah when I'm in a state uh, of fasting um, so Ramadan is a, a month away and we will throughout this month and probably already have already have begun um, we will discuss Ramadan its virtues um, its blessings uh, the fast of Ramadan and the virtues of fasting and so forth. We'll talk about this throughout this month. In the run-up to the last few days of Sha'ban, we'll talk about this uh, and how we can prepare for this. What I want to share with you today is the month of Sha'ban and the fact that the best way to prefer, prepare for Ramadan is the month of Sha'ban. Think of Ramadan like this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about um, our faith uh, being a, a, a tijara. He says in the Quran, يَا إِهُوَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا هَلْ أَدُلُّكُمْ عَلَىٰ تِجَارَةٍ تُنْجِيكُمْ مِنْ عَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ So he talks about, um, uh, uh, oh believers, should I not um, show you um, a, a tijara, a, a business uh, that will save you from a, 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 a painful torment? And he talks about that you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger um, and, and you strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with uh, yourselves and your wealth. So this idea of tijara, I want to extend to Ramadan. Ramadan is a time when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens up the gates of his mercy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's generosity um, knows no bounds and fasting is known as a manifestation, a, a perfect manifestation of sabr. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that Innama yuwaffa sabiruna ajrahum bi ghayri hisab that people who persevere um, will be given their reward without, without any accounting, meaning it will be absolutely limitless. There is, uh, there, there is no way of quantifying the extent to which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward, will reward people. And fasting, really irrespective of when the fasting is, is a deed that only Allah rewards because the manifestation of ikhlas, the expression of sincerity through abstinence is the greatest expression of sincerity because, because one cannot show off abstinence. You can't show somebody else that you are not doing something and as a result sincerity uh, in fasting is profound um, and then this multiplies many many times in the month of Ramadan it is the best month of the year it is the month of the Quran uh, we know all of these virtues and we will be talking about them more and more this time of is, is like a time when you know when it's it's a peak time in the year in business and that's what I was drawing with the analogy on, on trade, on business. It's like a peak time. And when you have a peak time in your business, you prepare it, you manage the run up to that time, almost like a project. How am I going to make sure that I have all of the stock that I need, that, I, that, that all my systems are bug free? How am I going to make sure that all of my customers know that I am around in this time? You do not miss out on a time like that. If there's going to be a huge influx of customers around your shop, you don't sit back uh, and, and, and treat that as a person um, who's a couch potato, sit back or whatever happens is going to happen. You come out and you do your best. Well, this is the time when this particular tijara can make or break your akhirah. 
Okay, so therefore preparation for it, managing that project, managing the project of making your hereafter is also important. And for that, I give you um, uh, the, the benefits of preparing in the month of Sha'ban. Not just because it will prepare you for Ramadan, but also because Sha'ban itself is virtuous. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is well known that he used to make the dua, Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab wa Shaban wa balighna Ramadan. Oh Allah bless us in Rajab and Shaban and make us reach Ramadan. But Shaban itself was a month um, of bless. It is a month of blessing. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to fast in this month more than any other month. In fact, it was only a few days in Shaban. Uh, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wouldn't fast and the rest of the month he would fast anticipating that when his deeds go up to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala they will go up to him while he is fasting so think about this Ramadan is coming uh, what is your fast going to be like? How are you going to cope with uh, the fast in these summer days you know the long fast are you going to end up spending most of the day with a migraine um, you're going to end up most of the day thinking about food and the iftar and so on. Or is that fast going to be a productive fast because you're already used to it, because you fasted some days in Sha'ban. Um, you know, have you thought about how much um, ibadah that you're going to engage in in the month of Ramadan? Uh, because, you know, ibadah in this month is more virtuous than any other time. We need to start thinking about this, but not just start thinking and planning for it, but actually implementing it in Sha'ban. How much sadaqat we're going to make? How much time? How, what our sleep patterns are going to be like? Can we manage on a few hours of sleep so that we've gone to bed, um, you know, after taraweeh, and then after that we've slept a couple of hours, then go, then then got up again for qiyamul layl, you know, and then had the suhoor, and then maybe slept a few more hours, and then gone to work, and then fasted that whole day. How are we going to cope with that? Is that going to affect our productivity in our worship? If if it is, well then Sha'ban is the month for you to train for it. And so that the Ramadan is going to be completely and absolutely productive. What about the recitation of the Quran? Ramadan is, is, is the month of the Quran. This is the month where we re-engage and re-energize our connection with the Quran. How much recitation are we going to do? Um, well, let's start with the month of Sha'ban. How about um, one khatam of the Quran? in the month of Sha'ban. How about improving our tajweed in the month of Sha'ban so that when we recite the Quran in the month of Ramadan it's better than the standard to which we recited last year. How about um, you know, studying the Quran a little bit in the month of Sha'ban so that we understand the basic message of the Quran. We understand what the Quran is, is talking about so that we relate to these things during the month of Ramadan so that our spiritual awareness of our recitation is far more profound, far greater, far deeper. So these are the things that we have to think about from now. Shaban is tomorrow or the day after. Let's start thinking about how we're going to use this month f both to prepare for Ramadan but also, also to capitalize on the virtues that exist in the month of Shaban. So for myself first, as a reminder to myself, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives me the tawfiq to have a, a, a Ramadan that is better than any other previous Ramadan. It is a Ramadan um, that is so full of sincerity and ibadah that, that is enough for my salvation insha'Allah ta'ala and that I can prepare for that in the month of Sha'ban just as the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was that he spent the month of Sha'ban preparing for Ramadan almost as if it was Ramadan itself. Jazakumullah khairan for listening. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all uh, the tawfiq uh, to make the most out of this uh, most blessed of times. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.